So I need to address an issue that's been bothering me for a while. In 2016, Keeley Electronics introduced their Darkside Workstation, which is of course a tribute to one of the greatest and most innovative rock guitarists of all time, Mr. Mark Knopfler. Now the internet, in its infinite wisdom, has decided that it's actually a David Gilmore-inspired pedal. But this is an incorrect assumption, and you know what they say about assuming that it's supposing the case without proof. At least that's what I've always said about assuming. Regardless. Look at the RKFX webpage. It never actually says that it's a David Gilmore inspired pedal. So basically what I'm trying to say is you're all wrong. Now I do understand how some people could get confused. So let's look at the specifics. First off, the name. Everyone's all up about how Dark Side is a reference to Dark Side of the Moon. Well, I will debunk that one right now. You see, in 1996, Mark Knopfler released his debut solo album, Golden Heart, from which the single Darling Pretty was featured on the soundtrack of the now-classic natural disaster movie Twister, which came out the same year. And what is the subtitle of Twister? I mean, once you see that connection, it's just so... obvious. Now, there are a few curiosities, like having a phaser instead of a chorus, but, you know, it's inspired by... I mean, here, check this out. See, if you're in a Dire Straits cover band and play that in a club, who's really going to know the difference? I mean, you might get one guy that comes up and is like, hey, why'd you use a phaser instead of a chorus? But, <laughs> you know, that dude doesn't have any friends. <laughs> Some of you may be wondering why it has a BMP-style fuzz with a multi-head tape emulation. I mean, that screams David Gilmore, doesn't it? Well, yes, it does, but... Mark Knopfler has a state-of-the-art studio where he produces his music and has an amazing collection of gear. I'm sure there are old Big Muffs and Echo Rex in there someplace. And, and if you're wondering why there's no cocked wah mode to get the money-for-nothing sound, all right... This is kind of a sensitive subject for real Dire Straits fans. First of all, they've already done the wah pedal thing on the Dark Side sister pedal, the Monterey, which is of course a tribute to the Mamas and the Papas. And regarding Money for Nothing, while it is a great song, it's basically the stairway to heaven of the Straits canon, and it's a sure sign of a phony fan. So when you hear someone say, oh, I love Dire Straits, man, I want my MTV, yeah, it's like, you know, nothing of Knopfler. You know, nothing of Knopfler. So I hope that clears things up for all of you out there in pedal land. Now get off that dislike button, you humorless nincompoops. Robert Keeley Electronics did not approve of or endorse this video in any way, shape, or form.